we have justice here libra energy let me get something with justice now this could have something to do with court the law something that was done that was unfair yeah that's just about to get balanced out as a matter of fact both of these cards they're both holding scales they're both holding scales in the same direction something about the left side no that's the right side well it's their left side look shit i don't know it scales that shit gonna be balanced anyway so it don't even matter <laughs> It's gonna, it don't matter if it's the right or the left. That shit's gonna be the same on both sides, okay? Let me get something here. We have the nine of wands here. This is like a, a energy of protection. Like someone's guard being up, someone being up on game. Like what's like, like taking somebody to court and then winning because you know you were supposed to win, but that person might be mad that your ass is gonna win or you won. We have the queen of swords here yeah queen of sword is definitely about the facts and the truth and it is what it is when it comes to that like the truth is the truth with the queen of sword they have no problem saying some shit and we have the six of sword here wow somebody is quick they making they move they said i won the case i'm going home i'm packing my shit i'm moving or i'm doing something like somebody's not wasting no time we got an air sign here or a libra or somebody that's not playing, they not on that emotional shit. Because they know this person's mad. Look at this Knight of Wands coming. Yeah, they know. This person. Okay, let me get something. We have Temperance Energy here, Sagittarius. Okay. I gotta get something with Justice here. So the only two major arcana that's here is the Justice and Temperance Energy here. It is something about... This is about your freedom. It is about finding balance here. I feel like it's an air sign and a fire sign involved in this. And somebody won some type of case and you know this person might be a little crazy. Okay, we got the five of cups energy here with justice. Wait a minute, there's no cups here. So what kind of relationship was this? That might be why somebody's trying to make a quick getaway or something. Let me get something here with this six of pentacles. We have the King of Cups energy. Five of Cups, King of Cups, a water sign or somebody that's hurt. Somebody that's real hurt. I don't know who this is that's about to lose this case. Are they about to lose something? Yeah, judgment. Oh Lord, they not gonna like this shit. This shit gonna burn the shit out of them. Ooh, like time just stood still for a second. They are going to be hurt or somebody going to be hurt. I don't know who this is. They're going to be so hurt when the shit balances out because it's going to seem like it's not balanced, but that shit is balanced actually because it's judgment on somebody's ass. I'm just saying. And it's like this person, whoever this queen of sword is, they know you got to move quick. You got to move motherfucking quick because you know this person going to be burning hot and they're going to come for you or they're going to try some shit here. No, nah, we can't do that. I'm just being honest with somebody. That's what I'm seeing. Judgment is not comfortable, especially when it's your ass that's about to be really under the judgment. Like really having to answer for what happened or what you did. Like justice alone to me is like court. That could be about money, anything. But judgment is like, nah, you did something wrong. Somebody did something like really wrong, bad, and it's time to answer for it now. And it's not a game. And whatever punishment that's going to be dished out, that shit's gonna be a it's gonna be an ass whipping out here like for real and they're not gonna like it of course nobody's gonna like it so whoever this queen of sword is yes you need to go in and move forward and do whatever it is that you about to do get on your path because this person i don't think they're gonna stop coming for you i think they're gonna try to find a way so it's like you just gonna have to do what you got to do i just being honest with somebody if it's your story that's your story but that's what i'm seeing that's what i'm seeing here like, you're going to have to lose all access to this person. I mean, are you going to have to cut ties or something here? Yeah, we got the Seven of Swords. You see, it's right on top of the Queen of Swords. And I don't feel nothing negative, necessarily. I do feel like it's somebody here that they're about to be... They're going to have to keep shit on the low-low. They're going to have to keep shit like, you know, like a strategy. You need a plan. You know what I'm saying? You need to be very calculated because somebody's going to be very emotional about this shit. And they're going to try to... They're going to try some other shit. Like, I'm just saying... I'm just saying, I'm just being honest so somebody's ready, so you're prepared, because these readings, they're not going to stop people from coming for you. That's not what this is about. I'm just letting you know that this is what's going on. There's somebody they're not going to stop. They lost. They lost because they were meant to lose, but they don't understand that. See, that's the thing about 
really not believing in reincarnation and past lives and things like that is because people think that this is your first time. No, nah, there's like old vendettas in this world, okay? Like old battles and old shit that need to be equalized, balanced. And balance doesn't always mean that everybody going to walk away standing. That's not what balance is. Balance is like more like retribution. What goes around comes around kind of thing. So whatever it is that was done to you is being done to this person or this person. Well, not maybe not exactly, but whatever energy that you felt, that's what they're about to feel. But you're going to be feeling great. But it doesn't mean you need to be like silly minded. It, it's I'm really seeing somebody like getting a plan and like going because you got to be smart. And that's just that. You got to be smart. You got to, what they say, cross your, cross your T's, dot your I's and shit. You got to do all of that. Like, if this person is going to jail, they should not know where you live. There should be nobody that this person knows that knows where you live. Nothing like that. I mean, you got to be smart. We have the king of wands energy here. Fire sign. Mm-hmm. Let me get something here. And then we got the King of Pentacles and shit. So it's like, it's a lot of court cards here. A lot of kings. King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles here. And that's what the, the King of Pentacles is with the Knight of Wands. It's a lot of court cards here. This Queen of Swords seems like alone or something like that. It's like you need, I almost feel like somebody going to start a new life or something. They're going to start a new life somewhere else. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's financial freedom here. It is yours. I see an air sign. I see all elements here. I see air. I mean, an air sign, feminine, water sign, masculine, fire sign, masculine, uh, earth sign, masculine. Let me get something here. We have the Page of Sword. I told you, and the Page of Sword is watching. They're watching. They're trying to get information. They're paying attention, okay? It's like they really want to know where you're going or where you're at. And it's kind of scary, actually, because they lost and they just need to just just eat that shit. I'm sorry. Like, people, you, you want to abuse people and fuck with people and make their life miserable. And then when some shit happened to you, it's like, ah, oh, I can't just let it go. Like, it's like just sometimes you just got to deal with it. Like, oh, my God, people just, oh, my God. When will this shit stop? <sighs> I feel like whoever this is, you deserve whatever this is that's like coming to you as far as if it's a financial blessing or something that is just yours. It's yours. I just saw the high priestess. Like, it is yours. It may be like, I think there's, it's a deeper story and there's more to it. And it may even be deeper than the both of you know, because I just saw the high priestess and now the hermit is at the bottom. So it is deep. It's like an insight. It's like, I feel like this is an old fight. It's, it's deeper than just this life. It's deeper than that. And what's so crazy about it, what I'm saying right now is what, like, a lot of people didn't want people to know is that we do come back. That's what they really didn't want people to know. They didn't want people believing that because, oh, my God, the people that did believe it, they're the ones that put all these fucked up systems in place. They're the ones that did that. I'm just saying, they knew. <laughs> Let me not go too deep into the ocean right now. Let me get something here with this King of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups here and me talking about not going too deep into the ocean. King of Cups, Ace of Cups here. But I'm just saying, this person, they're connected with you in a deeper way, like, than you may think. Or it, it may even be that, like, you don't even give a shit. It may feel so freeing that you don't even care, you don't give a shit, but this person does not feel that way, you know? So don't get it twisted thinking that because you don't feel that way that this person is having a great old time. No, sometimes emotions drive people crazy. This person is watching, page of sword, okay? Like, they don't want to let you go. They want, people are crazy, man, I'm sorry. They want, like, you, like, I can't even say it out my mouth, y'all. I can't even say it. It's like they want your soul. That's what they want, but they can't fucking have it, Okay? They can't. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. They can't have it. They can't. It's not theirs to take. I'm trying to end somebody's life here. 
because they get to move on and be happy. And look what's at the damn bottom, the Ten of Cups. Because somebody gets to move on and be happy. And that's not the case for whoever this is because that's not what they've put out there. See, people, and that's the thing, people in past lives, reincarnation, right? People in past lives, they did a lot of fucked up shit and they died knowing that they did those fucked up things and they thought it would never come back around. And that's the magic behind coming back and not realizing that it's reincarnation because you're going to pay for the shit that you thought, I mean, that you thought would just get buried with you. No. And that's even the magic behind the moon card because there's a lot of things about your soul's record your soul's past and future i mean the whole story from beginning to end we're only in the middle of it there's a lot of things that people didn't know that they did and when the shit hits the fan in this life and everybody's looking like oh i didn't do anything i didn't do anything yes you did you just don't remember i'm just being honest everybody not gonna believe what i'm saying but they don't want you to believe it they want me to sound crazy and they want you to think that this is your first fucking time born into these crazy ass systems and these crazy ass rules crazy ass look let me get something here with this seven of swords here we have the hermit card here and i saw the hermit earlier in this reading yeah it's like somebody cloaking their energy somebody going into and it's, it's not even about hiding or nothing like that it's not about hiding but it is about being smart it is about being smart because people are crazy and some people don't have nothing on their their calendar to do other than to come find you because you won some type of court case or you won some type of battle or you won some type of blessing you won it you got to protect your energy here you have to you got to protect your blessings like just be smart about it let me get something with this king of wands we have the moon card you see and i don't like that energy I do not like that energy because it's it's a little scary man it's like being outside at night and shit and you you hearing sounds and shit all around you you don't know what the fuck is out there it's like that that's why somebody like this is somebody here I'm sorry this is somebody here and they got to be smart about this shit and you got to avoid this person or get away from this person this is like a fire sign they you know they're very competitive I'm just saying like queen of, of sword is not on that queen of sword just wanted what is right to be right and it is what it is like people don't like that shit they don't like shit being balanced out because then they get put right back in their fucking square and that's the problem right there when they came out the fucking square that's when the whole shit got thrown off the balance the scales that's when the shit gets thrown off because they came out their fucking square now they're getting put back in their square and now they want to be mad because the shit is balancing out it's like let's say the shit was balanced right everything is balanced Oh, not with the cards in my hand. Everything is balanced. Somebody on this side come on this side, take something from this side, and then let's say they have more. So now it's off balance. So when you come and take what the hell is yours, their shit, it's not going to... Mm -mm. I'm sorry to say, like, it just feels like the only way that it can balance is if somebody just says, okay, I'm not even going to deal with this. I'm going to let this person go. I'm going to let this person, like, just leave my life, and I'm just going to just move on with my life. A lot of people like don't do that. A lot of people feel like they have to win something. They got to take something. They got to take your life. They got to take your job. They got to take your career. They got to take something. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel without. And it's like, that's their karma. And I'm talking about the people that know they did wrong. That's their karma. You don't, you don't get back what you... Like, <laughs> I don't know how to say. Like, if somebody take from you and they lose everything, that's their fault. It's not, oh, I'm gonna take from you and then when it balance out, oh, I'm gonna just have what I had before I took from you. No, you're losing every fucking thing. And that's the thing, like it's not the kind of scales that people be thinking. It's not like that, you know, it has to, it'll balance out at some point, but we ain't, we ain't all there yet. I'm just being honest. As far as the energy goes, some people are still crazy and they still want to come for people and they still want to end people's lives and they still want to do the whole unaliving and then the suicide with that, uh-uh. I'm just saying, some people are still on that. We can't be on that. We have the Seven of Cups energy here. Seven of Cups after the moon. You have to conceal something here. I'm sorry. We have the Knight of Swords here, man. They can never be able to find you because they're going to look. The Page of Swords is in the same row. Then you got this Knight of Swords. They're coming to assert some type... They're, 
It's something about information here also, but it's like they're looking at the Seven of Cups so they can't see. It's almost like it's foggy. Like they can't see the truth, it's concealed. And it needs to remain concealed, okay? It needs to remain concealed. It doesn't need to be out there. We got the Page of Pentacles energy here. Nah, man, because it's like, I just got the image of somebody sending something to you, sending something to your address. I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there. Nah, not even these. Let me get something with this. Because this seemed a little bit on the other side. Like, people need to chill. They lost the case. It is what it is. Look, it says fire. Like, don't ever get that shit twisted. We got number 27. It says karmic path. I'm telling you, this person, like, when it's time for people to pay for what they did, they're going to hate that shit, man. They're going to hate that shit. They're going to hate you for it. But it's their fault. But they're going to hate you for it because you're the one that's bringing that shit back on their ass. But that's not your fault, though. It's not your fucking fault that they couldn't stay in what God gave them and let you stay in what God gave you. But they couldn't do that. So what they took from you, and I truly feel this is past life or this is sometime early in this life. What they took from you is going to be completely taken from them. It's going to you. It's going to you. But you got to be smart about your movements here because it is going to you. I don't give a fuck how. And it says karmic path here. This is like, this is Saturn here, number eight. Number 27 and number 8. Also number 9 and number 8. Let me get something here. Let me get an ancestor message here. Maybe y'all need to do something. Y'all need to do... Because you know, there's remedies for this. So that that shit, they, they stay the fuck away. What's this here? It says, go away evil. I told you what I just said out of my mouth. I said, there's remedies for this shit. It says, use sacred rituals to cleanse and protect your space from negativity and evil spirits. If you are this person that I'm talking about, you need to start believing in something spiritual because that's the only damn thing that's going to protect you and God. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Spiritual, anything on the spiritual side, okay? Because this person is going to burn. I'm telling you what I'm seeing here. I don't know how, because it happens in different ways for everybody. It's not always, oh, you go to court. This could be spiritual court. And if it's spiritual court, that shit is spiritually happening to their ass and they know. And you're not in that energy. You don't give a fuck. I'm just being honest, but don't get it twisted thinking that they don't give a fuck because they're burning. That, what's that say? That say fire right there. Fire and karmic path. They're burning. Go away evil. I t what they say? They say people in hell want ice water. What is this at the bottom? I say people in hell want ice water. <laughs> and you got the blue, look, let me get something here. That, mm -mm. It says four thieves vinegar. I don't know, you could be dealing with a thief or some shit or somebody that want to do something. Look. It says, use four thieves vinegar to protect user from disease, spiritual attacks, and ill will. It also weakens enemies and can be used to drive away unwanted people or create family crows. But that's not what's important right now. What's important is driving away this person, like just protecting your space. Y'all gonna have to look some of these terms up. At the bottom, it says amulet. Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you want to carry something. Maybe you want to have something blessed, something consecrated. It says, do it your way. It says, you were never meant to fit in. You were born to be wild and free force of nature. Here to build new and better worlds. Allow yourself to go and do that. Okay, allow yourself to go and do that. Don't worry about this person that's burning. Just be smart about it. It says, a deeper world. Like, you're going somewhere deeper. It says, don't push or force your way through life. Finding balance, even in dark times, will open your heart in the depths of compassion in everyday moments. Okay. And then it says, miracles in the dark. In the darkest moments, it's easy to feel lost and alone. When you stay focused on the light, you'll receive blessings beyond your wildest dreams. So you got to focus on the light here. Okay. And at the bottom, it says, the spirit of love. Don't search for true love, for it will find you if you just hold on to who you are. The world already loves your essence, so don't change it for anyone. I'm just saying. So those are just messages for you, messages for the collective. It says composure, and it says raise your vibration. So you got raise your vibration twice in this reading. It's like spirit is telling you that behind the the invisible uh, energy, you're getting blessed. You're getting what is yours, but you have to stay safe. You have to stay smart, okay? You have to stay protected. You got to keep raising your energy because it seems to be that the more you raise your energy, the more this person cannot access you. The more you get blessed, the more what is yours comes to you. That's what it is. And it says holy love. And the, okay, so this card over here says the spirit of love and it says holy love. 
it's it's a bigger picture here for you, but you got to be smart about whoever this is in the past here because they are burning, whether you know it or not. And I want you to know, they're burning. But I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.